internal control and governance arrangements and those job as members will be all too aware of have been transformed over the last you know number of years. It's been a massive priority as directors as heads of service and, and as obviously as members. Unfortunately or fortunately we don't have such a, an assessment to fall back on from previous years because it wasn't done. Uh, you know, we've, as you know, we've, we've increased, we've improved the, the delivery of the audit service and made it um, more, um, well, we, 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 we've made it more professional and also allowed it to, to sit for standards and perhaps standards that were always applied. Um, as, you know, the, the director is also certainly we're not sitting on our laurels at all. Internal control and that whole assurance framework is, you know, is stronger now than it was last year, the year before, the year before that. You know, the trajectory is in the right direction. Unfortunately, the, the, you know, the terminology that we're bound to use doesn't show that. If it was a number, I think you know that number would be perhaps going in the right direction. It's hard to it's hard to quantify it, and, I don't, and obviously there's that.
Okay, if there's, if there's no further points on, on that um, item, can I move the recommendations in paragraph two of the report? Okay. In terms of AOB, um, this was completely remiss of me, and I apologise profusely, so I shall do it now. We do have a new member amongst our number. Uh, Councillor Natalie Nicholas is the, uh, the new member for uh, Liverpool, and I'm sure all of us uh, give her a very, very warm welcome and look forward to working with her. Um, for the years ahead. Um, obviously, it's disappointing that Councillor Mark Norris is no longer uh, with us, and I've already taken the opportunity on behalf of the whole organisation to write to Mark just to thank him for the great contribution he's made over the past few years. And I am in no doubt whatsoever that hopefully sooner rather than later he will be returning to public service within the city region because I think someone like Mark really has a lot to give to the future of our city region. Um, finally as well, um, I think it's also appropriate just to uh, mention the terrible events that happened in Istanbul um, yesterday uh, and obviously um, our thoughts go to all those people that were ca uh, caught up in those horrendous, horrific events and uh, obviously it's terrible that again another part of the international transport network has been caught up uh, in these events and in a similar vein as we did with our kind of colleagues in Belgium, who were sort of allay our condolences and our kind of wishes of support at what was a very challenging time for them. Okay, um, that's everything that I should have done at the start of the meeting, so I do apologise, uh, but those are all the uh, other bits to notify you of. I look forward to seeing you at the next meeting. Thank you.